And for our last presentation, the chair recognizes Councilwoman Parker, who presented a resolution recognizing the Ducky Burtz Foundation. Would Ducky Burtz and those accompanying him please join the Councilwoman at the podium? And Councilwoman, you want to? Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Although there were only seven whereas clauses in the resolution to read, all members of council have been honored and sponsored this resolution. So we're going to ask all members to please join us. Will all members of council please join us? We look back through these 10 years and we've seen your, each of your faces. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, right. Where's the duck man? Is he? Is he near? Jesse. Okay, duck. All right. Let me let me just start by saying, for those quiet, please, who are familiar with the life's works of national and regional civil and human rights icons, like the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Rosa Parks, C. Dolores Tucker, the late great Lion of Zion, Reverend Dr. Leon Sullivan, late Congressman Bill Gray, and his partnership with the late great Councilwoman Augusta Clark. You can't know any of those people and their presence here in the city of Philadelphia and have not seen Donald Ducky Burtz and his infamous smile. He's, he's been in every photo, a part of the history and the work. But more important, and we know that his son David, who is here, who has picked up the mantle, his lovely wife, Linda, the Zion Baptist Church family, Mass Jujula, uh, Tommy Blackwell, senior aide to Congressman Bob Brady, and Jeff Brown of Brown Shot Right, who has been the chief long-term sponsor of the Foundation's Medallion Scholarship Banquet. They're here and a number of others. You know that one thing that is not often talked about is Ducky's work. And when I first met him, it was through the late Councilwoman Augusta Clark and her work with the United Negro College Fund and the raising of money to send children of color to college. And Ducky Burtz never had a problem asking somebody for a check to help buy some books and pay tuition to send a child who needed assistance to college. And so Ducky, with that, we want to say thank you. We know you reached a milestone last week with the presentation of the 10th Annual Medallion Scholarship Banquet. But what people also don't know is that Ducky just celebrated his 80th birthday. 80, 80. So, so, so with that in mind, the, the resolution in which we finally, Ducky, as a legislative body, get an opportunity to say thank you for your work. And, and, and this is just um, uh, our way. To, to say thank you, and it reads as follows. Recognizing and congratulating the Ducky Birch Foundation on the occasion of its 10th annual Medallion Scholarship Gala. I just want to thank my good friend, Donald Ducky Birch, for all your work from Camden to Philadelphia, being the risk taker that you are, and doing all that you do for the young people of our city and the region. And whereas the Ducky Burtz Foundation was founded by civic activist, community leader, and longtime special assistant to Congressman Robert Brady, Donald Ducky Burtz, in 2006, and and whereas my heart is filled because Ducky Burtz is adored by so many, including me. Whereas Ducky has created a legacy of caring for others and nurturing the growth of our community's most valuable, vulnerable resource, children. He understands that having an education is a means to social justice, equity, self-determination, and freedom. Thank you. 
Thank you for this honor. And whereas, since its founding, the foundation has provided scholarships for students attending my alma mater, Cheney University, and Lincoln Universities, and educated fourth, fifth, and sixth graders on economic development and government operations on all levels, and Whereas the foundation has also developed its own food products like Ducky's Eggs and Quality Lunch Meats, which are sold and sponsored by Brown Superstores, Inc., which operates 10 ShopRite supermarkets in the Delaware Valley. The proceeds from these sales go to benefit the Capital Building Fund and... Whereas on October 15, 2016, the Ducky Birds Foundation held its 10th annual Medallion Scholarship Gala. The theme of this year's gala was creating bridges for a better community. And? Love you, Ducky. Whereas this year's Medallion Award honorees were Bruce Crawley, Honorable Larry Farnese Jr., Meg Grant, Honorable Stephen Kinsey, Obra S. Knurdle IV, Melanie Lassiter, Carla Moss, Don Scott, Calvin Tucker, and Fred Wright. The couples and families working together making a difference honorees were Frank and Tina Green, Mayor Dana Red and Novella Henson Starks, Ryan Boyer and Omar Sabir, and Reverend and Mrs. Joseph Williams, Jr. Now, therefore, be it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, my congratulations to uh, Donald Ducky Birch. Great, great person. And you may not know, but he also has his own hot dog brand, Ducky Dogs, <laughs> at Jeff Brown Shoprite. I see him. Very good. Uh, resolved by the Council of the City of Philadelphia that it hereby honors and recognizes the Ducky Birch Foundation on its 10th annual Medallion Scholarship Gala. Further resolved that an engrossed copy of this resolution be presented to Ducky Burtz as evidence of the sincere sentiments of this legislative body. All right. Okay. And the chair recognizes Donald Ducky Burtz for remarks. Thank you, Mr. President. Welcome. First, we honor the God and. Without God, it's impossible. I had a stroke about a year ago, about a year ago, and my wife nursed me back to health. Uh, God knocked me down, but he didn't knock me out. He got my attention. You're gonna get all of our attention 